This is like the fifth UFO I've seen today. NBC News has hired former Republican National Committee Chair Ronna McDaniel as an on-air commentator ahead of the 2024 presidential election. Oh, cool. Ronna McDaniel tried to literally throw out Biden votes in Michigan, and now she's an employee of NBC News. Hold that Zotox rant, Zotox. I've got a distress call coming in on our landline. Must be from one of our undercover agents. Sweep patches in. Ah, what's up, Zadley Witzorb? Guys, it's getting a little hot and heavy down here. I could use a timeout, maybe uh, a breather out of the skin suit. Engage the extraction beam. Okie doke. Thanks, guys. Good to be back, just as I left it. Zadley, we got a lot to monitor, so you're just going to have to sit in with us on this one. Everyone's still talking about my interview. <laughs> he looks like he's taking a sh- on that chair. <laughs> All kinds of surprising issues, right? Uh, interesting questions, if I don't mind saying myself. Jesus so- <laughs> Christ. Somebody's ego and tie is looking a little inflated. Let's take a look at some of these interesting questions. They say it's lonely at the top. Is it ever lonely for you? Is there such a thing as overconfidence? I mean, you've been right a lot. No one's gone through what you've gone through. Nobody in human history. It's hard to conceive somebody like you shedding tears. What the flying f- Is there anything you would tell Hunter because his dad apparently is worried about him relapsing? Any kind of advice or encouragement? (laughs) (laughs) These are questions no one else is asking. This may be my favorite moment in the interview. He said that there's a protective force. Do you remember Is that a condom? (laughs) There's a lot of other things to talk about here. The licking. Ah! (laughs) Look at his tongue. We see that you're protected, maybe even by the hand of God. What? Has that ever crossed your mind? Uh, But there is some kind of a protective force. Even Trump's not willing to (laughs) fully go there. I know, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trump's like, look, I may be an idiot, but I'm pretty sure God is not doing anything for me. Yeah, I I mean, mean, I'm all for ass kissing, but this is... (laughs) Ridiculous. Of course, lots of folks laughed at me, God, at a moment like this. Well, what? Hold it. Do you see what he just did with his eyes? The kind of, I f***ing hate this when <laughs> newscasters do a little acting and mm. turn their eyes to the side to pretend to find the thought that's written on the teleprompter. <laughs> you can only bring up God as a punchline. What, what, what's no, just problem? you. You're God's punchline. <laughs> yeah, we're desecrating God. Not the guy who's paying off the porn stars slathered with man tan with an orange veal cutlet on his head. And here's God's little protected one Here now. He is. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. I love the guy yawning over his shoulder. <laughs> bloodbath, bloodbath, boring. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. It is nice to see him marketing hygiene of any kind to the MAGA crowd, though. Uh, like a bloodbath? <laughs> Have you tried bathing in blood? Anything. <laughs> this would add to his thing where he's like, you got to flush the toilet 10, 15 times. It takes an hour to draw your blood bath. <laughs> These new blood baths. And the blood is lukewarm. They come out dripping, dripping, dripping with blood. Quietly dripping out. <laughs> Didn't he then like say, oh, I was just talking about the car industry? Yes. When you use the word blood bath, I did a little truth the other day. Truth is on, on fire. Yeah. It's doing great. Meaning yeah. it's not. <laughs> People that are complaining about it, yeah. they all used it. It's a commonly used phrase when you're getting slaughtered ritualistically economically a little bit different when i do it being the leader of a bloodthirsty group of <laughs> militia men who want to execute non-white people everywhere tiny bit different he complains is being taken out of context but if we zoom out to the context of the entire rally this is how he opened it oh god ladies and gentlemen Please rise for the horribly and unfairly treated January 6th hostages. <laughs> Snossages. Please rise for a bunch of guys whose only crime is being a little out of tune. <laughs> oh my God. By the way, that's how I want to be introduced the next time I'm presenting at an award show. The horribly <laughs> treated and abused. Widely panned by psychos. <laughs> <laughs> Do they rehearse? Do they have a glee club? It's woke jail. They get to do <laughs> arts and crafts. I heard their production of Brigadoon was amazing. <laughs> Young people, they're in jail for years. And if you call them people, I don't know if you call them people. In some cases, they're not people, in my opinion. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? After people being like, Trump is using dehumanizing language. Yeah. He uses the one word that literally <laughs> dehumanizes. I feel like I haven't been clear. <laughs> Speaking in metaphors, I'm calling them animals. They're not human. They're not people. Did you hear what he said about humanity. I've seen the humanity and these humanity. Yeah, these, these humanity. We're taking in snacks. Yeah, maybe this one gets to you too. What? Hey, maybe this. His speech is 
it would be a logical extension for him to just tear his pinky off and light it like a cigarette. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it happened. You just saw it. We got to smile about this. Look, if you don't have <laughs> Yeah, you got to <laughs> smile about the racism. We're just having fun. You got to laugh when you're dehumanizing. Why do you use words like vermin and poisoning of the blood. The press reacts to that by saying, well, that's the kind of language that Hitler and Mussolini used. Well, that's what they say. I didn't know that, but that's what they say. <laughs> Great minds think alike, I suppose. Who knew that Hitler dehumanized people? It's such a good defense. He is basically saying, like, Jinx, you owe me a soda. <laughs> I came up with Hitler speak all on my own. That's how good I am. If you don't use certain rhetoric, mm. if you don't use certain words that maybe are not very nice words, uh, nothing will happen. If you don't do full Hitler, yeah. people aren't going to catch on. He's challenging us to be bigger, better people. You gotta go full Hitler. I tried. Then you need a copy of How to Win Racists and Incite Mobs. <laughs> well, the parade of guys going to jail for Trump continues. You gotta stop meeting like this. Yeah, that's a joke. No sense of humor here? What? God, that is so, so oh crowd. Come on, guys. I'm going to jail. Are these things on? The open mic night in prison is going to be a lot tougher. No one's allowed to drink in there. <laughs> He's going to open for the J6 choir. I know you're waiting to hear the music, but uh, seriously. <laughs> what is it about commissary, huh? The little story here uh, is Navarro's going to prison today. <laughs> Sounds like a children's book. Navarro's going to prison today. <laughs> Executive privilege goes back to George Washington. This is actually Navarro's audition to be Tom Cruise's the, uh, dad in <laughs> Top Gun 3. <laughs> wow. You cannot command me to come to you. And the reason is- the All right, and he will be reporting out. to that prison. <laughs> when Fox News has to cut in. <laughs> yeah. To fact check there, it is no longer an alleged crime. He has obviously been convicted. We're gonna let this man rant in this strip mall parking lot and fact check him while he does. <laughs> also, they're like not acknowledging that Peter Navarro lived at that network for basically like two and a half years. He's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, I don't know this person. We don't know him. Okay, let's switch gears to the Biden impeachment inquiry hearing that is all but faded away. Everything was for the ultimate benefit of Donald Trump and thereby Vladimir Putin. Senator Ron Johnson and many others understood they were pushing a false narrative. So the plan was to have a U.S. Senator, Ron Johnson, push that disinformation even further. Correct. Ron Johnson, f this guy. The cool thing about this testimony is like, okay, so we can confirm this thing that we all knew. Yeah, like, exactly. of course Ron Johnson was spreading mis He wasn't just spreading misinformation about Russia. He was spreading misinformation about COVID. It was like everything. This guy became synonymous with misinformation. Oh, uh, he's such a piece of shit. With all due respect. <laughs> Tucker Carlson, he went inside the subway in Moscow, built by Joseph Stalin decades ago. The thing looks like a cathedral. He killed millions, but look at this pretty subway. You know, I'm not saying we want to kill all the Jews, but the Autobahn is a stunning achievement. <laughs> yes. Eight lane highway. No speed limit. <laughs> I'm just saying. Inside the bubble, you hear Republicans say, you know, we need to get a result. You know, we, we need to effectively govern. That's not what um, I signed up for. I subscribe more to the William F. Buckley definition of conservatism, which is standing athwart history and, and screaming, stop. Yeah, stop history. <laughs> stop time. Do not evolve. Stop. <laughs> stop this moral arc of the universe. I'm standing athwart you. I think we'd be far better off if we never passed another piece of legislation. As an actor, I think it'd be great if I never shot another scene. That's what's gotta happen. <laughs> what channel is this? Uh, it's Real America's Voice. It's online. Ron Johnson is going onto this stuff intentionally to be like, yeah, I want to get real deep in the dirty, dark web of horrible 4chan alt-right. Yeah. This is a senator legitimizing these fringe networks. This is more embarrassing than a congressman coming on Alien Super Show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like that is the... Yeah, or somebody who pretended to work in the White House coming on this show. It's, <laughs> yes. it's, it's embarrassing. It's humiliating. It's beneath him. It's desperation at its most obvious. Uh, yeah, it really is. It's not even even about the career anymore, some <laughs> pathetic need for attention. Right, just, I gotta see yourself on the screen. Yeah, somehow. yeah. Even yeah. in animated form, like as long as your voice is there even to just have that validation. Right, it doesn't even have to be you. It just has to remind people of what you used to be. Yeah. <laughs> the idea of you, really. That's pathetic. And with no hard out either, no other, nothing to do all day except wait for this. Yeah, yeah to really not know if it's ever gonna end. <laughs> that it could just go on and on. Anyway, we're on clip 9 of 40, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> oh, great. I can't wait to see all the security footage from mar lago <laughs> We're watching it in real time. All right. Well, uh, thanks for the break. Now I got to get back to pretending to be the highly acclaimed, <laughs> award-winning actor, <laughs> television's Bradley Whitford. <laughs> <laughs> The Democrats are a pro-crime. We're common sense. They're chaos and pro-criminal. Hiya. Thanks for tuning in. If you like the show, help us keep this spaceship going. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or drop a comment. We read them all. If you really like the show, subscribe to our Patreon, where we share bonus content that didn't make it on this episode. Okay, gotta go. Thank you. Bye.